Hola, good people. This is your man, DJ Wolf D, coming at you with another fast, quick, and easy Akai MPC tutorial. Uh, today, we're going to show you how to play individual notes on the pads and chords on the pads using plugins, all right? This, of course, is for uh, both the MPC Studio and the MPC Renaissance. Uh, the version of the MPC software that I'm using is version 1.8.2, okay? So once again, this is going to be plug-in based. So first thing we're going to do is pull up a plug-in. So I will just go ahead and grab something that everybody should have, uh, the bank from the MPC expansions. Because if you own the studio or the Renaissance, that means you have the bank. So let's just pull up a grand piano. Just keep this nice and basic. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know how many people have hit me over the past couple of years with this initial problem. I'll explain this first before we dive into it. They'll pull up a plug-in, think that they can just start playing uh, notes on the pads, and they hear nothing. All right, so let me explain the reason behind that. Um, a full-size keyboard is 88 keys, all right? But here, using your NPC hardware, uh, the notes are based on, of course, the 16 pads. Uh, and each set of 16 pads is a bank. We have banks A through H, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. So that's eight banks. Eight times 16 is 128. So that's 128 MIDI notes. But an actual full-size keyboard is only 88 keys, 88 notes. So with us being uh, starting out on pad bank A by default when you turn the machine on, think about a keyboard from left to right. Uh, if a keyboard is 88 keys long, but we have 128 notes, that means we're way too far to the left of the keyboard. We're way too low. So we're pressing uh, MIDI notes that don't even register yet because basically we're down here, but the keyboard notes don't start until up here. All right, so that's the way to explain that. So that means we just have to go up the keyboard and get to a higher register of notes. So instead of sticking around on pad bank A, we're going to switch to pad bank B and go further up the keyboard. So now I'm going to start hitting notes on pad bank B because I don't remember where the first note is going to start at. So pad bank 1, I'm sorry, pad 1, pad 2, pad 3, 4, 5. Ah, there is our note. So the lowest note of an 88 key keyboard for us with this plug-in starts on pad six of pad bank B. So now we can just start going up one note at a time. So now you need to go higher, get the next pad bank up. Next pad bank up. That's it. That's how you play single notes on the MPC pads. That's it. Just remember to stay off of pad bank A and also stay off of pad bank H2 because that will be too far up the left. Uh, I'm sorry, that'll be too far up the right side of the keyboard. All right. Uh, so now let's move on to chords. Very simple to start playing chords. Uh, the chord assign section is in the pad assign section of the MPC uh, software. So all we have to do here on your MPC hardware is press the pad assign button. Just press that once, bam. And I, I'm not sure if you can see the screen well because I'm using my webcam here, but this just took us to the pad assign area and this is where your chords are for the pads, the chord assign section. And there's a lot of stuff for you to go through here. Lots of stuff to choose from. So if you want to play just single individual notes, press F1, put it on notes. If you want to play three note chords, like keys of uh, uh, your fingers one, three, and five, three note chords, just put it on one, three, and five. And it also shows exactly uh, what key uh, these chords are in, E flat major chords. I'm going to play four note chords, one, three, five, and seven. Press F3. And of course, if I want to switch chords, I just use my cursor, go to chords, I'm sorry, go to scale, 
and just switch to whatever key you wanted to be in. So C major chords. Switch it up one D flat chord. D flat major chord that is. Go up to D major chord. E flat major chord. All right, so lots and lots of stuff to choose from there. Here in the type section, chords, chromatic chords, progressions. So lots and lots of stuff to choose from. So make sure you take the time to go through all this. I just went to the chord section, uh, notes one, two, and five. Uh, notes one, three, five, and seven. Those will be the positions of your fingers on, on an actual keyboard. Uh, so lots and lots of stuff to choose from there. Uh, octaves, you can switch octaves with F5 and F6. All right, so this section, the pad assigned section, this is where you can find the chord assigned and start playing chords. If you are not a keyboard player yourself and you can't play chords, and this is the area you need to start spending time with because yeah, you have a lot of options to add more musical flavor to uh, your musical productions, all right? And uh, that is about it. That is how you play single notes on the MPC pads as well as chords on the MPC pads. It's your man Wolf D signing out. Peace.